guys my name is George and welcome to this new Ruby tutorial today we're going to learn how to make decisions using if and else uh, statements in the Ruby programming language now for that I have written a simple example over here uh, as you can see it says if a 5 is greater than 2 then print something and then end so that is the first step that we need to make and basically the structure of the if statement says if something which is 5 is greater than 2 is true then print whatever is inside uh, this this block over here before the end statement and uh, basically that's it that is the most simple way to do this and if you execute this program you can just code this program uh, save it now we're going to execute the program which is called asking.rb and we're going to see the result this is true now if you want to uh, evaluate uh, something different for example is 5 greater than 10 now this is going to be false so we should not see this piece of code being executed in our script so go ahead and save the program run it again and you will see nothing because this statement is basically not true so I get um, I hope you guys can get it uh, how it works uh, with that simple um, example over there now we're going to see what happens if you want to uh, write something else or execute some alternative code uh, if this function is false so if the function is false what you need to do is write else and then end so between else and end you can write put this is false okay so go ahead and save this program execute it again and you're going to get the result this is false because 5 is not uh, no way being greater than 10 so that is the most basic example uh, I can think of now you can also perform some basic logical operations which you're going to need to evaluate uh, whatever you wanna put over here uh, within the if statement now you have the greater than um, uh, operation you can also put uh, greater or equal than which is another way so you can evaluate 10 is greater or equals than 10 and this is going to be actually true so you're going to get a true result you can also use the less than or less uh, okay less than or less or equals than and you can also uh, use equal so this is going to be true only if 10 is actually the same value of this other 10 over here you execute the program you're going to get a true result if you change this you're going to get a false uh, result over here so that is a simple way uh, to test uh, this uh, Ruby statement, uh, the Ruby and else statements. Now you can also compare uh, different kinds of variables. For example, these two variables, these are numbers, but you can also compare a strings. For example, I can write here uh, a letter or a word, for example, I'm going to write example, and over here I'm going to write 10. We, we will leave the 10 over there so save the program and you will get this is false so you can compare like different kinds of variables and you can also write here for example example and you can ask if those are basically equal and this is going to be true now these are really basic uh, operations now another operation is that uh, you can evaluate if these uh, two variables are actual actually different so the way to do that is you use uh, this symbol over here which stands for different than and save it and execute the program and it's going to say this is false because uh, these are equal they are not different but if you put over here for example 5 now 5 is definitely different than example save this uh, script run it and you will get this is true because it is true that 5 is not the same as example okay so uh, those are some little advantages that you can get um, uh, to do with Ruby and you can basically take the decision of writing uh, or executing this line of code over here or 
do something else so that is basically the way to make some decisions uh, using if and else statements uh, in Ruby so uh, I hope you guys uh, really like this tutorial I guess that's going to be all for today uh, this is going to be a simple a really really simple script uh, in the next videos I may do something a little bit more advanced perhaps a simple a simple calculator or something so I guess that's going to be all of it so uh, I guess that's all. If you like the video, don't forget to click on the like button below. You can also leave some comments, and you can also subscribe to my channel for more uh, more videos. So see you guys in the next time. Bye bye.